Welcome to Flare for Pros. We're going to show you how to set up a Flare system with Puck Pros to be used as integrated controls. In preparing for setup, make sure all the Pucks in the system are Puck Pros. Power on all Puck Pros and assemble them close to the router. You'll also need the usernames and passwords for the home Wi-Fi and the smart thermostat account. You won't install Pucks in their final location until after you've run through setup and tested the code set and Puck location. Installation begins by connecting the first Puck Pro to AC power and following the in-app instructions to complete setup. A flare system uses two types of Pucks, gateway Pucks and sensor Pucks. A gateway Puck is powered by AC power and communicates with the flare cloud using Wi-Fi. If you have multiple Puck Pros in a system, the Gateway Puck serves as a hub for your flare system. Out of the box, all Puck Pros are sensor pucks. A Gateway Puck is created by converting a sensor puck via the Puck menu. A sensor puck is powered by batteries. These pucks communicate with the Gateway Puck using radio frequency signals. Every flare system needs at least one Gateway Puck, but each home is unique. Depending on the layout and construction of the home, Additional gateway pucks may be needed to boost the radio frequency network in the home. Multiple gateway pucks will form a mesh network for the sensor pucks to connect to. When setup is complete, additional gateway pucks can be added using the plus sign in the Flare app or by converting a sensor puck to a gateway puck using the pucks menu. Let's get started with setup. First, flip your Puck Pro over and remove the puck door. The puck is designed only to be used with the flare USB cord and power adapter. Please do not use any other cords or adapters with your Puck Pro. Plug in the micro USB end of the cable into the back of the Puck Pro. Then connect the Puck Pro to AC power. These instructions are valid for iOS, Android, and the web app. We will show you when and if to expect differences across these apps. Download the Flare app at flare.co slash iOS or flare.co slash Android. You can also use the web app on a browser at my.flare.co. If you're unable to complete Wi-Fi setup on a phone, we suggest trying setup on the web app at my.flare.co on a Wi-Fi connected computer or laptop. We're now ready to begin app setup. Open the app and select create an account. Then enter your name and email address and create a password. Be sure to select I am a professional that installs Flare devices. This will allow you to set up Flare homes using your account and then transfer them to your customers. Let's begin by creating a Flare home. In the Flare app, tap create a home and then give your home a name. You'll be asked to enter your home address. You can use your phone's location or enter your details manually. If you're using the web app, enter your address manually and then confirm your address. Flare uses your address to give you weather information and to activate geofencing on your phone so Flare knows when you're coming or going. Next, we'll perform Wi-Fi setup. You'll be asked to plug in the puck and make sure it's in gateway mode. If you've already done this, click Next to move ahead. Once your puck is a gateway, it will display a screen with the puck's unique ID code. If your puck does not show its ID, please enter the puck's gear menu and verify that it's a gateway. Type in the puck's ID code. Flare will automatically connect to the puck's Wi-Fi. Now select your home's 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network. Flare will not work with 5.0 GHz Wi-Fi networks and will not display them in the list of available networks. If your router broadcasts both 2.4 and 5.0 GHz networks, ensure that they have different names. 2.4 and 5.0 Wi-Fi networks with the same name will cause connectivity issues with Flare. If you do not know how to change a router's network name, contact your service provider for assistance and restart Wi-Fi setup. Enter the password for your network 
and press the Next button. Your puck will then connect to the home Wi-Fi. Please note that this process is sped up in this video and can take a few minutes. Once you see the Wi-Fi symbol on your puck, confirm in the app and allow Flare to complete the connection. If the Flare app is unable to join the puck Wi-Fi automatically, you'll need to complete the connection manually using the Wi-Fi settings on your phone. Click OK and go to your device's Wi-Fi settings and connect to the Flare Wi-Fi network. You may be prompted that there is no internet, but please ensure that you remain connected to this network. Once your device is connected to the Flare Wi-Fi, switch back to the Flare app. If you found that you're still having issues, go to the Puck's gear menu and select Forget Wi-Fi to reset Wi-Fi credentials. Next, go to your Wi-Fi settings and stop and then start Wi-Fi service to clear out connections. Then restart the Wi-Fi setup process. If you're still experiencing issues connecting to Wi-Fi, we recommend that you resume setup using the web app. To start the web app, open a browser on a Wi-Fi connected laptop or computer and go to my.flare.co and log into your Flare account. Resume setup and when prompted to connect to the Flare Wi-Fi network, go into your computer's Wi-Fi settings and manually connect to the Flare Wi-Fi network. You will then select your home network's Wi-Fi SSID and enter your password. When the puck shows the Wi-Fi connection symbol, click the blue button to proceed. We'll now enter device setup. The order in which you add devices doesn't matter. You can add mini splits first, then a smart thermostat, or vice versa. After setup is complete, you can use the plus button in the app to add more devices. Let's begin by adding a mini split. Select mini split from the list and select the brand. If you don't see your brand, select other brand. Next, create a nickname for this mini split and tell Flare what room this mini split will be located in. You'll be asked to power on any additional Flare pucks. If you intend to use more than one gateway puck in your Flare system, for now, insert batteries. These can be plugged into power and converted to gateway pucks after completing setup. For your convenience, you may click Don't Show This Again. Now select which puck controls this mini split. Next, enter in your remote's model number. This can be found on the front of the remote, or the back, or inside the remote's battery case, either on the inside of the cover or under the batteries. Once you find the remote model number, type it in or select it from the drop-down list. If you can't find a model number, tap the button that says Can't Find Your Model, and you'll be able to test all applicable matches. Don't worry if you can't find a match. Flare works with all IR-controlled mini-splits. Contact our support team, and they'll help you find a compatible model, or buy a copy of your remote, or send you a prepaid label so we can borrow your remote and upload its IR codes to our database on your behalf. You're now ready to start model setup. When you begin model setup, your pup will enter IR setup mode. IR setup mode begins by downloading a series of test codes to your pup. These test codes will allow you to find the correct code set to use with your mini split. There are three IR beams on the puck. There's one on the front of the puck facing outwards, and there are two more on the sides at 10 and 2 o'clock. For this next step, be within five feet of your mini split and aim one of these IR beams at the IR receiver on the mini split head unit. Make sure to keep fingers out of the way so that they don't block the IR beams. When you're ready, push down on the puck. You'll see one or more models listed. These models correspond to test codes for your brand. You'll test each code to find one that works for the mini split. While aiming the puck at the mini split IR receiver, press down on model 1. If the test code was successful, the mini split will beep or respond. This is a random test code, so the mini split may turn on to fan mode or turn on to heat or just turn on. 
Right now, we're testing to find a code that will make the mini split respond. If model one didn't work, rotate the puck to model two and press to send the next test code. Continue until you find a model that makes the mini split respond. In this video, model three made the heater turn on. In the Flare app, select the model number that worked. In this case, we'll select model 15. The puck will now download the full code set from the Flare cloud. This can take up to five minutes. If you want to confirm that your IR setup was successful, navigate to the remote control icon on the puck and press down. If your setup was successful, the status in the IR settings screen will read ready. To add additional mini splits, select add another device and repeat the process. If not, select done adding devices. In this video, we will add a second mini split. To begin, select add another device, choose mini split, and then select the brand. Enter a nickname for your mini split and name the room it's located in. Now select the controller puck. Type in and select the model number for the remote control and wait for the test codes to download. The puck will enter the IR setup menu and you can tap next over the informational screens in the app. Aim the puck at the mini split and test the model numbers listed on the puck by rotating and then pressing down. In the app, enter the model number that made the mini split respond. Next, we'll add a smart thermostat. Select Add Another Device and then choose Thermostat. Select the thermostat brand and then enter the username and password for the homeowner's smart thermostat account. Select Allow and then check the thermostats to import into Flare and click Connect. Enable any thermostats Flare will be using and choose the type of system the thermostat controls. If you do not see your system type, select Other. We're done adding devices. Next, assign the thermostat to a room. If you're creating a new room, name the room. You may review the rooms you have created or click Next. Next, configure system settings in the Flare app. Leave system mode to auto. Manual mode can be used for testing mini splits after setup. Set the set point control to Flare. This allows Flare to communicate with the smart thermostat. Away mode determines how Flare behaves when no one is home. Choose Smart Away to prevent rooms from getting too cold or too hot, and Flare will keep the home at an energy saving temperature. Off only means that Flare will not run heating or cooling, and turn off mini splits. Select Manual to set Home or Away status using the Flare app. Select Geolocation to have the Flare app use the phone's location to determine Home or Away status. Select Thermostat to have Flare read the home and away status from the Smart Thermostat. If you're unsure, select Manual. This setting can be changed later. Away Min Max are the temperature bounds used by Smart Away. Set these to energy saving temperatures. Finally, set this home as the default. You can access Flare support from the settings menu in the Flare app, or you can email us at pros at flare.co. Click Finish Setup to end Flare App Setup. As a professional, we know you like to test before you install, so we suggest creating two Flare accounts, a test account created using your personal email address and an installer account created using your professional email address. We recommend that you perform any home, test, or office installs using your personal Flare account and any homeowner installs using your installer account. Also, do not share accounts. When creating Flare homes for your customers, make sure you're logged into your installer account. Create one Flare home at a time 
and then transfer it to the homeowner before beginning a new flare home. This will prevent conflicts when integrating with smart thermostats. Getting support is easy. Email us at pros at flare.co or log into your Flare Pro account to get access to our Pro Support phone number. If you don't have a Flare Pro account, you can register for one at flare.co slash register. Visit our knowledge base at flare.co slash support for helpful troubleshooting tips. Thanks for watching.